Let's start from Luke chapter 2. I know you'll be blessed this morning. But when prophets come around, they don't just come to bless you. They come to change your seasons. They come to shift you from where you are to where God has ordained for you to be. And that's exactly what will happen to you this morning. In those days, carious moments don't start like carious moments. The days that change people's lives start like any other day. But it's in retrospect, we look back and say, that was the day my life changed. This is one of those days. I assure you, this is one of those days that your life is changing. Unless God did not send me. Luke chapter 2. And verse 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and who? And with man. Genesis chapter 27. From verse 26 and his father Isaac said unto him come near now and kiss me my son and he came near and kissed him and he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said see the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord had blessed therefore God give thee of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine let people serve thee, and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Cursed be everyone that cursed thee, and blessed be he that blessed thee. I started saying yesterday that the blessing is spiritual substance. And that because it's spiritual substance, there is a physical consequence of that blessing and the example i used was the example of jesus when four friends let down their friends and jesus looked at that man and said son thy sins are forgiven thee and the doctors of the law were arguing and speaking in their hearts does a man have authority to forgive sins is forgiveness of sin a spiritual blessing or a physical blessing what is a spiritual blessing but then Jesus turned to them and said, Why do thoughts arise in your heart? Which one is easier to say? Your sins are forgiven or arise, take up your bed and walk. Arise, take up your bed and walk is healing. Is that a spiritual blessing or a physical blessing? Physical blessing. So Jesus was saying, when spiritual blessings come into your life, there are physical consequences of those blessings. And what Jesus was trying to prove here is that if truly this man's sins are forgiven and you are versed in the Psalms of David, that is the same God that forgives your iniquities, that heals your sicknesses. That means if this man's sins are really forgiven, then he should be healed as a consequence of the forgiveness of sins. And so the man standing up, taking his bed and walking was a sign that his sins were forgiven. Praise God forevermore. And if you have received the blessings of Abraham, the blessings of Abraham, as I said yesterday, is justification by faith. For what has our father according to the flesh, Abraham, what has he found? And then the Bible says, Romans chapter 4, verses 1 to 4, that what Abraham found was justification by faith. For to him that walks is the reward not counted of grace, but of debt. But to him that does not work, but believes in him that justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. And by the law of first mention, the first time in Genesis chapter 12 verse 3, the first time that the word believing is used in scriptures is the same first time that the word righteous is used in scriptures. And Abraham believed God and it was counted unto him for what? For righteousness. 
But that is the spiritual blessing of Abraham. Yet yeah, the Bible says that Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the Lord, being made a cause for us. Galatians 3.13, as it is written, cost is every man that hangs on a tree. Verse 14, that the blessing of Abraham, singular, not plural, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. That blessing of Abraham is justification by faith. And if you have been justified by faith, as Abraham was justified by faith when he first met there are different things that start happening in his life thereafter. Those were consequences of that justification by faith. And over the period of 25 years, we see Abraham become a warrior from nothing, from somebody that looked like an NFA. Abraham became a warrior. He became a billionaire. We see Abraham become an intercessor, become a prophet, and become a father of many nations. Praise God forevermore. So I said all that to bring you to this, that um, if we are partakers of the blessing of Abraham, okay, there must be physical consequences of that blessing. And the physical consequence I'll talk about today is the favor of God. I thought we would shout. If I said that the physical responsibility is prayer and fasting, and uh, here I will understand when you don't. But <laughs> when I say the physical consequence is the favor of God, I expected you to be glad. Praise God forevermore. <laughs> okay, but then in scriptures, you see it of Samuel, you see it of Jesus in that scripture we read that. Um, they grew in favor with God and man. So there is a difference between favor with God and favor with man. The problem most times with Christians is that they understand the favor with God, but then they wonder why they are not having favor with man. Now, this is a big curriculum, but I've sliced part of it because I have very little time here to teach a sliced part of it for you because is the curriculum is massive but i'll just give you enough to cause you to understand that you can run with and that this grace this mantle of favor might rest upon you this morning yeah. when the man has favor with god he starts seeing his visions he start having divinely granted appearances But if he does not know how to connect that favor with God with favor with man, he will suffer like a thief with men. Jacob, hands were laid upon him. Jacob, the Bible never recorded that he saw one vision from the day he was born. And then the time, Bible, if you look at it chronologically, they were teenagers, all teenagers, when Jacob prepared Poro and collected Esau's birthright. But by the time Isaac is laying hands and praying for them here, they are probably in their 50s. And throughout all this period, that heaven had recorded that the blessing has come to Jacob, yet he didn't have any vision. That's why there are people that are believers. Their name is recorded though, but still they are not seeing anything happening in their lives. But then that day, the hands were laid upon him. As he ran away as a fugitive, the first place he landed upon, heaven opened his salvation. That's all with God. And God sat, the Lord sat on top of that ladder of his destiny and spoke to him. But still, he got to Laban's house. There was no sign of favor upon him. That means somebody can have favor with God and find it hard with men. I am anointed. Why are people not listening to me? There is favor with God. There is favor what? With men. It's different. God has shown me visions that in this Lagos, my business will prosper. <laughs> yet you are struggling yeah, that vision is favor with God you must learn how to translate it to favor with men 
And that's what I will I'll teach you some <laughs> in, a lit, in a little while. The blessing of Abraham, the physical consequences of the blessing of Abraham, we see three things in that blessing. Okay? Three things in that blessing. He said, come near and kiss me, my son, Genesis 27. And then he said, the smell of my son is as the smell of the field which the Lord God has blessed. God give you the dew of heaven, fatness of the earth, and plenty of corn and wine. That is the favor of God. The favor of God means that heaven supports you. Be Lord over your brethren and let nations bow down to you. That is the honor of God. The honor of God means that heaven projects you. And the third one, blessed be everyone that blesses you, cursed be everyone that curses you. That is the terror of God. The terror of God means that heaven protects you. Because by the time the favor of God starts coming, the honor of God starts manifesting your life, then you will be like David. Why there be many that rise up against me? <laughs> Why there be many that rise up against me? Oh Lord, the lions have saved me. Storms of life came against me. That is where you need the terror of God. The Bible says, He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them that hated me because they were too strong for me. But this morning we'll be talking about the favor of God. And let me rush through so that at least we have 10 minutes to pray. Okay. Number one thing that this favor does, and I won't tell you how it comes. As I am talking, you'll be, that's why you have to listen attentively. You'll be getting from my pain how the favor comes upon people. Number one thing that favor does is that heaven bends the forces of time and chance in your favor. That is why a blessed man does not, if you are the kind of person that everywhere you go to, they say, ah, and the thing just finished before you came here, that you just get here, they just, ah, the door just closes in front of you, okay? Or you are going to buy fuel in the midst of scarcity. It is when it is your car that is next that they say fuel has finished. <laughs> if it happens once, no problem. But then you now see a pattern of that happening. Then something is wrong somewhere. When people are favored, as they are just putting fuel for you, they say, ah, you don't finish, oh. but you look, your needle is on a full tank. And say, ah, that's the favor of God. Because God bends the forces of time and chance to favor you. Say amen now. I know I'm in Lagos, so, but don't, during this Lagos traffic depression to church. Sundays, there are no traffic, I call that days, amen. Say amen. Uh -huh. Say the forces of time and chance are favoring me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Isaac said to Esau, go and make me venison. Let me eat so that my soul will rise and bless you. Rebecca. That Rebecca being there to hear it is that the forces of time and chance were favoring Jacob. That your helpers are not far away from you. That your helpers are the point of action of your life. It means that heaven is favoring you. That the day that they are discussing your matter, there is a voice there to say, ah, but this young man has tried in this company now to say that this lady, this lady has been working here. Ah, that is the forces of time and chance favoring you. She heard it and called him and said, come, it's time. Oh. That thing that happened 40 years ago, it is time for physical manifestation. It's time for vital manifestation. Oh. Ah, this is serious business. Oh. Jacob himself was afraid. But God raises people to strengthen your hands, strengthen your heart for the harvest. He said, ah, boy, if he calls me, he said, let your curse be upon my head. That God raises people that will carry your cause on their heads. And you are wondering, I don't know this man from Adam now. 
I don't know this woman from anywhere, but they are carrying your curse on their heads. I say, anything that goes wrong, let me carry it on my head. It's the favor of God. God is bending the forces of time and chance to favor you. Sit down. <laughs> they say, this man's life is just a series of coincidences. That means the forces of time and chance are favoring you. Then he went. The mother cooked. He came. He said, ah, who is this? Your voice sounds like Jacob. Come here. Say, ah, but your body is like Esau. He says, how come you have come with this thing? Because Isaac had estimated, I can't, he could not see well, though, but he had estimated the time to go out to the field, to go and hunt for a deer, to, to kill it, to bring it back, skin it, roast it, and prepare Unkobi with it. Uh -uh. It cannot happen this fast now. Jacob did not say, hey, sir, because I am skilled, you know, I have trained. The Bible says they got not the lands by their own hands, but because you, O oh Lord, had a favor unto them. If you read scriptures, they fought to get those lands. Oh. They didn't dash them the land. They were fighting through the lands, but they saw in everything. It's not a skill that brought us to this place. How did you get first class? Oh, first class. You know, <clears throat> I, re I read, I had a systematic reading plan. I had all those things are good though. I had a systematic reading plan. When others were sleeping, I was awake, I was reading, and that's good though. Then when they finish interviewing, you, you are going, eh, 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 eh. the God factor. <laughs> that's the last thing. The God factor, the G factor, G factor, the God factor. You should not be left out. That's one of the things. Oh, I saw in the, in the news, was it last year? I saw in the news, newspaper, I saw, I prayed, I fasted, I sowed my seed. That was the testimony of a lady that made first class in UI. He said, she said, I prayed, I fasted. That thing came out in many newspapers. I said, this is how it's supposed to be. I didn't know that she was even my granddaughter. Yes. <laughs> until I went to my son's church for their program and I was sitting down and she came up and said Papa welcome, thank you pastor I was reading her testimony and said that my testimony came out in over 22 newspapers, came out in blogs even in Ghana my testimony came out and the heading of that uh, of that publication was I prayed, I fasted I sowed my seed and I made the first class that's connecting spiritual favor to become favor with men. God bend the forces of time and chance. He said, how come you've come back with it so quickly? He said, the Lord your God brought it to me. And I say, how? Because Isaac knew that that is the character of the blessing. That people that are blessed don't hustle around. They are hard working, but they don't hustle. They don't go to this place. Ah, you got to hustle. Hustle will continue. No, 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 no. We work hard, though, but we don't hustle. Because God makes the lines to fall onto us in pleasant places. And that's why I'm declaring over you that from here, opportunities you never saw coming. Those that seem short. May this grace that opens doors in high places and works apostolic wonders, may it speak for you in the name of Jesus. Sit down. I am Ayeda, Kaya Krada, Hasia, Lebegida, Gada, Zotia, Rados, Teheketeka. Ah, time and chance. I was a cadet in the 90s, in the academy. And that was the material we needed and it was very scarce. People would pay anything for it. And everybody had looked for that material 
you just came out then and it was very scarce and expensive because of the thing. and i said lord i need this material one day i was walking with my friend back from engineering class as we were walking back to the lines somebody a soldier passed me passed us and then came back and walked towards me he didn't walk towards my friend and looked at me and said e excuse me i said yes said i have so and so material for sale i said what uh -uh. i said where is it he said i can go and bring it if you want I said, how much is it? The amount he called was ridiculously cheap. But because my mom taught me well, I said, ah, that's too expensive. He said, what do you want to pay? <laughs> <laughs> Proverbs says, it's vain, it's vain, says the buyer. But then he goes back and starts rejoicing. <laughs> I, said, I, I said, ah, it's too expensive. I, said, ah, I told him the amount. He said, okay. He said, where will I bring it to you? I told him, I said, I'm in that battalion. Bring it to me there. I got back. The material was there. After that day, till today, I never saw that soldier. I don't even know who he was. It might have been an angel of the Lord. I never saw him again. But for the fact that from nowhere somebody came and came towards me, it's time and chance falling in place for you. You want to enter that bus, they are arguing with you, they are arguing with you. It's time and chance. Oh. Come out of that bus, enter the next bus. Something is wrong with that bus. Stay where, stay where. It might be that the bus you are going to enter, somebody that is important to your destiny is there. Stop fighting things. Allow life to flow. Because there is somebody like Jacob, somebody sitting on top of the ladder of your destiny. The Lord himself is sitting there. Say the forces of time and chance are favoring me. <laughs> there are people that as they leave school, policy will change. They're about to leave school. Uh -huh. That's when the accreditation team will come and say, <laughs> we are disaccredited. This. Why is it that is you that? Why every time you, you, May you catch this thing I'm saying, no? That's why students can write exams. The results will come out. Some will get 90 something, and that one will get 62. And then you say, ah, I mean, please bring your paper. But it's the same thing we wrote now. It is time and chance, oh, because when they were marking your own paper, the lecturer was angry. <laughs> what's this? What's this? What's this? You don't be teaching these people, they don't have any sense. <laughs> but that when it is time. It is, you can't do that one yourself now. It is God that does this one. No? That the Bible says that we can throw dice. It is God that gives double six. So. It is God that does this one. That it is the time is picking your paper. He's receiving a call and say, ah, ah, that allowance we have been waiting for, it does drop. Hey! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, 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 darling, darling, that money has dropped. Hey! They dance. Then you come back. You now say, ah, finally, a, a breath of fresh air. At least somebody is listening to me in class. You know that others are not listening, no? It's time and chance. May God bend it on your behalf. Aya, aya, aya. May God twist it, pull it, stretch it on your behalf. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Sit down. Kayatia, <laughs> Gabeliga. We will soon be entering the portals. Please come and get on the keyboard and play softly. One of our partners, young lady, came for explosive last year. We give you glory, Lord. Softly. Came for explosive last year. Just 18 years old, trying to go to school abroad. 
He knows the testimony. And he came the Roman Catholic. So she even planned a visa interview in US um, US embassy in Abuja for that time so that her father will release that then she'll come and she was even a volunteer for a martial explosive. So she'll come there and then from there on Monday go for a visa interview. She came, finished serving. On Monday, she went for visa interview. Something happened, something happened. At the end of the day, they said that something was not filled well. And then, and that was the last day she had. She knew what it took her to get this day. She was crying there. They said they, were, they soon closed the visa embassy, the US embassy. As she was crying there, somebody came out. Look, if you look at scriptures, there is no way the righteous can be forsaken. There must be help. The Bible says the Lord hear you in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend you. Send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. There must be help. I'll be young now I'm old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken nor a seed begging bread. It doesn't happen. Help must arise from Zion's mount. The Bible says God will help her. And that's right early. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in the time of trouble. Came out and said, young lady, why are you crying? He said, this is what happened to me. I said, ah, that's not come. Take, fill this form. Fill the form all over again. They did the process. She entered. She got visa. Now, it was late. Oh, things were late. Because she wanted to be sure that she would get visa before booking a ticket. I said, I will like book ticket. So, she went online to book tickets. <laughs> As she was looking. As she was seeing all the high, high prices. Because of the nearness of the trip. The higher prices. And then she just looked and saw an airline at a ridiculously cheap price. That's what she clicked her more. He went through. She paid. She was rejoicing. Then the airline. They realized that. Ah, how can you get this kind of cheap ticket? But they could not talk because they saw that it was legit. Ah, they saw. And you know what? It was there she realized that it was not even economy. It was business she clicked. <laughs> ah, I said God is bending the forces of time and chance to favor you. Things that you think are bigger than you that are up there. God is bending time, bending time, bending chance and lay your hand on it in the name of Jesus. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Pele Gabriel go da hasika ta ya do a haki. Rebecca di gada ya do a da. One of our partners, like two, three weeks ago, was giving me a testimony. I didn't know she was she had appeared in the UK. She was giving me a testimony. How supernaturally God raised everything, all the funds she needed for her masters. A second masters and she said sir this blessing you spoke over me i applied for visa on monday on friday standard visa uk visa i got it on monday she said even the people that <laughs> applied for priority they are still waiting me it's not that he said me too i didn't understand though how <laughs> by monday i got it I said, God is bending time and chance to favor you. There are some people that think that all these embassies are good. You know, when you give testimonies, they feel that, ah, uh, uh, is it not Nigeria? Anything can happen in Nigeria. Wait, I'm coming to you. Because we have partners all over the world. There is, every one of them, there is no different testimony. The order of testimonies is the same. 
Okay, buy at one. Kai, 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 kai. Let me stop at that with time and chance. Number two, angelic assistance. There are no angels in the life of Jacob before. But from this time, suddenly it's as if they were always with him. The first place where he slept after this blessing, angels ascending and descending. When he was in Laban's house, after Laban walking on him, then the angel of the Lord said, appeared to him. He said, I lift up my eyes, Genesis 31. I saw the angel of the Lord. He said, I am the God of Bethel, where you made a vow. Say, I have seen your suffering. I have come for you. That thing that transferred the resources from Laban Incorporated to Jacob and Sons was angelic activity. <laughs> and in this season, whispering angels are moving out. Those whispering angels that are talking to potentates on your behalf, that are mentioning your name in high places. Ah, it's the favor of God. They are moving out. Oh, they are moving out. Oh, they are moving out. They are moving out. They are running right now as I speak in the name of Jesus. <laughs> it says the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord. Like rivers, he twists them wheresoever he wants. Haman had been scheming. One year, sit down, sit down. Haman had been scheming one whole year against the Jews because of Mordecai. One way, that scheme is not just talking about scheming, he's talking about jazzed up scheming. They use astrologies, spiritual forces to find out. Is it inside Bible? To find out the best day to finish the Jews. And the children of Israel say, We are the people of God, not a couple. They were on their way to extermination. That's why you should get that message yesterday about the difference between the legal and the vital side. They we are on their way to extermination. You are seeing things happening in your life. Instead of rising up to pray, you are looking at her. No, 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 they can't kill James now. James is one of the three is closest to Jesus until they cut off his head. But when they take Peter, you now start praying. That's what you should have done since. Angelic assistance. Help me, Kai. Prophetic word was dropping. You know. A little bit lower. It will come again. <laughs> from the time, let me go back to this. From the time Jacob left that house, angels, 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 angel of God told him, This is how to break the money. Angels, when he was going to face Esau, he ran into a company of angels. The Bible shortens the story. It does not tell us everything. But if you read the book of Jasha, that is mentioned in Chronicles, it tells us how those angels appear to Esau. Appear to Esau. And say, ah, who are you people? He said, ah, we are in alliance with Jacob. We just finished with him. We are moving. He said, hey, Jacob is this powerful. And he saw foul bands of angelic representations like that. Oh boy, his heart calmed down by force. Angelic help. Three days prayer and fasting. The angel started whispering to the king. The king had many things he could have done with his spare time. He could have brought out dancers, they'd be dancing. He would have sent for Nollywood, they would come and start performing. 
there, there were a host of things, more likely things he would have done, than to go into the archives. And of all the many volumes in the archives, time and chance, it was what Mordecai had done he saw. That means that there were angels that were directing him, speaking to him. When people look at you and say that, yeah, let me just help you. It is angels. Oh. They think it is them. It's not them. It is angels. <laughs> One of my young men is here. He ran for a course in the UK. And when he went on that course, that's in the UK, there were people from other countries there in the course too. And one young man from the southeast took interest in him <laughs> and drew near to him and became his friends. And these are places where you'll be seeing racism around them and came close to become his friends. That's the favor of God. That's angels whispering. And then he was doing his body, and the guy said, uh -uh, You should go and chill out somewhere now. He said, eh, Okay. So he gave him a ticket and said, You should go to a particular hotel and go and chill out there. Poor boy. That's during their spot. When he got to the hotel, they took him to presidential suit. Ah. In UK, he entered the presidential suit. He looked at the bed, he could not lie down on it. He sat down, was looking at the bed like this. Then he called his friend in Nigeria and said, I beg, help me go where is this place he said oh boy that your hotel where you are one night in that room is 1500 pounds oh he said yes what a light 1500 pounds and he didn't stay there once so oh. he stayed there again and again then later found out that that was the prince of brunei before he left he said you have to see my mom took him to the mom he talked and gave him fat victuals that was more than all the money that he ever took it in he got the money he said that project that we have been waiting to do my mom's project it is finished now with this money god can change your story overnight oh. Whispering spirits, they are speaking for you. Yeah. Angels are going around speaking for you. Yeah. The thing that makes people just sit down and just say, Who should we give this contract to? Just say, um, let's give one of these two. Then from nowhere, somebody mentions, Ah, ah what a moyo now. It's true, we never thought of him. Give him, they now leave the ones that are on the table. Oh. They now say, hey, hey, ah, come, how did we even forget? Give him. Those are whispering spirits. It looks as if he just came to the mind. It's not that he came to his mind. It's that somebody whispered into his ear. And those angels are whispering for you in the name of Jesus. You get to places you, they will help, help, help them as the power of God is coming upon them. Help them. As the power of God is coming upon them, help them. You get to a place, you will enter, enter the place from nowhere. Somebody will just look at you and say, What's your name? And say, ah, Let me help you. Come and follow. And they will be, ah, ah, I'll be wondering, I don't know this man. Oh, this man is not carrying me to where I don't want to go. But it's because an angel has spoken to that man. We got the story of one of our partners long story that was almost sent back she was doing a course in the uk was almost sent back from the uk <laughs> uh, they said prophet speak words i spoke words then when she went and met the panel the panel supernatural the panel and you know you can, you might say nigeria anything goes we are talking they, they looked at the people that were saying, Pack your you are living, you are not meeting up. They say, So, how is everything? How are you coping? No problem, just be encouraged. Put in, ah, uh -uh. she looked at us, ah, uh -uh. the 
these people, these people, UK, their mouth is as they are sharper than your mouth. Oh. It's just that they use Queen's English to hide malice. <laughs> but you Nigerians will say idiot, stupid. Uh -uh, uh -uh. They they will by the time they carve it out and speak Queen's English to you, you will prefer to hear stupid and idiot. I'm a I'm sorry, but if you had heard none better, you would ah uh ah. -uh. <laughs> then she went and applied for a job. Door open. She got the job. As she got the job, they now ask her, What of your husband? Say he's working in so and so place. Ah uh ah. -uh. He can come and apply for this job. Yeah, we give him this job. Yeah. He said, no, he's already work, uh, working. No, tell him that he should come so that he can. Uh, uh, people are looking for a job. You are begging somebody. Call your husband to come here. I come and get the job. Yeah. So he said, tell him that we are inviting him for an interview. So the husband came. And they said, this is the job. The other said, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, he said, but I'm earning like the same thing where I am already. They said, eh, no, we work on it. We will work your part so that we will double this money for you. That's how a good job will be double pay. You. And if you see, that's a long story of time and chance. Because the person that was in charge was working on a project in Nigeria with a law firm. And that law firm he was working on, this husband after NYC just did a short stint there and left. So he said, where have you worked? Where are you work? I was in Lagos. I mentioned the name. Oh, you work there? God is ordering your steps, so. <laughs> As if they Oliver Twist, they say, you know where we are? This London is very expensive. They say, okay, we, accommodation is expensive here. Yeah. They gave them expatriate accommodation in London. Are they the only ones that can come and work here? But when the favor of God spotlights you, it's as if there's no other person in the whole wide world. God is changing your story. Yo. Sit down, sit down. Kalita, Seketia. Angelic assistance. You should be praying by now. Let your lips be moving. You are breaking into something. We had a partner. We have a partner. Before he went to the US, he was going on a course, one of my young men. And um, he came and met me. Dad denied him visa. So he came and met me and said, Daddy, um, that visa, they denied me. I said, No. He said, But they said, I said, No. <laughs> he said, uh, But I said, No. Yes, if that person likes, his, loves his job, you are going under your course. The next day, they sent me a message. We are sorry, your visa has been approved. He sent me the email. Then he got to the US. Before he went, he met me. I said, God Himself is sponsoring that your course. Go. So he got to the US. It's a special forces course. You know those special forces course. Two hundred of you can start. Only one person will finish. Hundred of you can start. Nobody will finish. So <laughs> he started. The course was finishing in September. They did the last final phase assessment in August. And if you fail that one, straight to your village. When he finished, the course came back. They said, you failed. That's the person at the school said, you failed. He said, I did not. He thought the man was even joking. He said, no, I did not fail. Uh, he said, you failed. Uh, he said, I did not fail. He said, you failed. Uh, he thought he was joking, no? All the people that failed, I told them, pack your load. It was when Nigeria Embassy called him that I knew they were serious. So, eh, so they have sent us message that you failed though. So <laughs> when are we expecting you and this is for your own? He ah, ah. said, ah, ah. should I call that the for what? Should I? But when words are spoken, they keep hovering over your head. When Esau came in, 
Isaac looked at Esau. He said, Father, bless me. He said, Are we blessing again. I have blessed Jacob with all the blessing. He said, He has sustained him with corn and wine. The only words though, but he talked about words like tangible things. That I have given him the essay. I have given him all the cars and the houses. What do I have to give you again now? He said, Daddy said, God himself is sponsoring this course. Kayata, Kayabra, Erebegadia, Rasa, Aya. My eyes are open, oh, my eyes are open, oh, my eyes are open, oh. I am seeing a dark cloud over somebody. I am seeing forces. They have come up with evil vibes against you to bring you down. But the Lord of the breaks has risen for you. Ayatia, Kaya Patokasia, Repe, Kia, Ketakadayada, Randua, Kia, Metkatasaya, Duadayaga, Eradoshia, Tayebaya. The light of this world are speaking. They are blasting those evil vibes about you. Those rumors are crushed right now in the name of Jesus. Sit down, sit down, sit down. So. <laughs> They went for the interview because you go for the interview you come out this way the commanding officer of the special forces school will tell you this is what happened this is where you are going and then you go through the other way go to your room pack your things and go to your village americans are among international people that came to from there to your village all of them passed like that it is just for formality because you are everybody knows you are going and then it got to his turn god himself is sponsoring my cause god himself he stepped inside the CEO said, From my records, you failed. He says, I did not fail. I did not fail, sir. He looked at him and said, Do you want me to go on this course with you? And he said, Come with me, sir. You see that I did not fail. The man looked at him. This is a hard one. He said, Go back and join up with the course. since 1806 that that course was that school was established this is the first time somebody is coming this way and going back the same way they saw him entering they saw him coming back the same way ah, they said what i'm saying i'm joining up the americans changed his name started calling him miracle there are people that have called you poverty they have called you sapa <laughs> but now you're changing you know? for God himself says I will give you a new name which only the Lord God of hosts himself knows God is giving you a new name a new identity because of his favor upon you sit down let me finish with this this favor loses the loins of kings on your behalf. Kings wear armors so that they cannot be pierced, they won't be vulnerable to people. And especially in societies with high power distance indexes like Nigeria. Ah, people in power, they wear double iron, or they wear iron, they wear steel, they wear fiberglass, <laughs> they wear everything. Because in Nigeria, people that want to get into power, by the time they abuse them, abuse them, if you don't wear that armor, you will die. Oh. This scourge of the tongue will kill you. So what they do is that they wear armor. In their minds, there are armors. In their hearts, there are armors. That's why you said that ah, this man was a good man. He just became governor. He became very, very insensitive. No, 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 no. It's because for him to survive there, he must wear that armor. Or else you use your tongue and kill him. So when we were saying that, sir, please, I, I need help. I need help. Uh, okay. Just say, PA, talk to my PA. All oh, those talk to my PA. No show. No show. It's so that we show everybody that he's sensitive. When he gets, sir, um, the people who pay, and my friend, you just come here. Sir, the people you said they should talk to me, have they not talked to you? Eh, let it end there now. They are wearing armors. 
then you'll be writing a letter. The man was your uncle. Hey, uncle, help me. Uh, okay, 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 okay. This is two years. You have not heard from him. But then the Bible says, Thus said the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose hands have holding, to subdue the nations before him. And I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two lead gates, and the gates will not be shut. I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut asunder the bars of iron. I will give you treasures of darkness, hidden riches of secret places. That loins of kings is talking about is the armor of kings. That you will see that the kings that are close to everybody, once they see you, they will tell you there is a soft spot. But why is it that this man just has soft spot for you? It's because God has loosed the loins, the armor of kings for your sake. Sayada keya pra to aketa kayana. Egetiga dayaba yeda. Arada kayaba. Policies must favor me. Ah, regulations must favor me. The happenings in the land must favor me. Ah, God is showing me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Kayada. Ten minutes, ten minutes, ten minutes, ten minutes. Kelebra. Legadaya ma niatasia. Yeah, one of our partners. He wanted to go and do PAD outside. He had applied the first time. No show. Second time. No show. He said, is he not the one that did masters in UK? He wants to go back there for PAD. As a military officer. And look at the time. Three years, four years. No. Not approved. He met me and said, what do I do? Ah. He so said, oh. But he said, what do I do? I said, God himself will drop it in your heart. So he went back. One day the Lord told him, See that scripture of prophecy. Blessed be the Lord God, for He has showed me His marvelous kindness in a strong city. He said, Pray that prophecy. He said, Pray nine hours of that prophecy. So He started today, we pray two hours, tomorrow, we pray one hour to do cumulative. Uh, 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 uh. The Spirit of God said, uh, It's not all prayer, there are some prayers that can work like that. Uh, but it's not all times that prayer can work like that. Because you cannot boil rice by putting five minutes on fire, bring it out. And then two minutes on fire and bring it out. And then ten minutes on fire and bring it. No, 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 no. It has to be constant and sustained. Then one Saturday, he locked up himself and was praying that scripture. Blessed be the Lord God for he has shown me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. Psalm 31 verse 21. When he prayed for six hours and he wanted to say that scripture. Blessed be the Lord God, for he has shown me his marvelous kindness. He could not pronounce strong city again because the city was no longer strong. I said of Jacob, Ah, your name will no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince, you have power with God and with men. This is one of the ways to combat it and bring it here. With men and you have prevailed. That year, guess all us. It was approved though. Even the people around said, oh boy, which juju did you go and do? This man was complaining bitterly that all these people saying that they will see what will happen. But he didn't know when he signed. And he's a very meticulous person. But God showed him his marvelous kindness in the strong city. In this company, I'm the only one that are working here. There's no way they will not notice me and give me and give me a award of the best word. Oh boy, remain there. Unless the favor of God speaks for you, you will see the people. You you are staying till eight o'clock, nine o'clock at work. You will see people that will run. They will come by ten. By two, they will run out, come back by five. They say, is anybody looking for me? Then they will take off. 
The way they say, and then the most wonderful, the way they will call it, the most wonderful, the most, the most diligent, the most diligent, and then they call the people say, ah, then they come and say, I want to thank the Lord first of all. At that point, by the time you talk, they will say, ah, ah he's thanking God now. You should at least respect God that he's thanking God for, gi- <laughs> for giving him the award. <laughs> Ah. I am working with a big man. It will, help me. it will be helping those around, those outside. You that you are working with him, you will be crying. <laughs> the laws of kings must be loose for you. When we talk about supernatural people, people think that we are just talking about people liking you. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There is the liking part, too. but even if they don't like you, Supernatural favor is compelling power. God said, I will give you favor in the eyes of the Egyptians. That is the night that their first sons died. You think he's liking? So they came and said, Oh, thank you for killing our sons. What do you want? Gold, silver? <laughs> thank you. Is that what was happening? That favor was compelling power. That there was nobody they asked that could say no to them. 